All right, hey, welcome in, guys. We got some shoes for you, some Greek Freak 2s. I am super excited. I don't know why I haven't done these yet. I've been slacking on these. These are the ones that he won the championship in. So celebrating and coming off my Bucks season, championship season high, I am going to do the Greek Freak with a little bit of a championship kind of colorway. So I'm going to tweak it and customize it a little bit. You do whatever colorway that you want. So right before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all my new videos, not just shoe videos, all sorts of... Uh, elementary, middle school, high school, any age, any ability level on here. Got all sorts of new videos coming out every single week. So stay tuned for those. Now let's get started on our Greek Freak, our Zoom Freak 2 shoe. Okay, so as for most of my shoes, I'm going to start out with kind of that L shape going down on this side. This one has a little bit of an angle. It's not perfectly straight up, so a little bit of a lean on it. It kind of bubbles out on that edge and then goes right over across, up a little bit at the end. It's okay if you get that first kind of L shape with a little longer for that sole. Down here, that's how I start off most of mine. And then I'll start to bring that up. They're kind of pointy a little bit on the toe and then go up. Right up by the collar, it has a scoop, and that scoop in the back goes up a little bit higher. It's got a little cushy spot in the back. I actually like that. It's nice and kind of smooth when your foot goes in it. Of course, I got my Zoom Freaks on here. Gotta have the Greek Freaks representing. Of course, there's a freak on the tongue. Zoom Freak 2s. I like this colorway. Too. Couldn't do my video without having the shoes on. For then the tongue, kind of starts up at that diagonal part and then it goes up and then down, kind of peaks on top there. Okay, so then we got the basic outline or kind of silhouette of the shoe. I'm gonna tweak a little bit of the parts and then I'm gonna go over that a little bit darker just so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so now I got a pretty good shape. I'm gonna start with that midsole on the bottom. Has a little bit of a scoop that goes down and then back up. That's where that logo design goes in between. And then it goes, jets right down into that first kind of heel section. And I thought that was kind of a section on this bottom and then there's kind of another section up here. Okay, so right over from this part of it, like a connecting line, it goes over and then down, over and down. And then another one, it's got kind of sections. So this is kind of a section, this is a section, and then it's got another section over here that stretches out. This one kind of goes all the way right up here, right towards, and then it quickly jets back over this way. It's got a little bit of an angle there. I like that part of it. Okay. There's going to be a little tri triangle kind of sections over here. Always kind of make me think of that Jordan 14. That's why I do like these, um, the different colorways that have those up. So this little pointy part over here actually stretches into, like I said, one of those triangles. So that kind of goes up a little bit further and then scoops over because it's kind of starting the bottom of that Nike symbol. And then that also brings over here. So I guess it's kind of giving you a hint of where that Nike symbol is going to go. And then you can start with this corner right here. Kind of has like a upside down trapezoid, I guess. So interesting way to describe it, but I, I think that works because that goes over here. And then this goes over here, kind of like a triangle goes up here. So we're kind of gonna get this little shape over here. Like I said, kind of an upside down trapezoid and this I guess makes into a regular trapezoid. And then this, like I said, is kind of that triangle or that, um, yeah, it's kind of, again, it's kind of like a trapezoid triangle mix over here. So those are kind of some of those shapes that kind of fit into here. And then that big giant Nike symbol kind of connect from here, just so you kind of know where space fits into. 
I'm gonna add a couple little parts over here so I know and I can get my composition to kind of build up from section to section. I know that BAP added a little bump out to here, like a pull tab on the back of that. And then that goes over. And then on the bottom, it does the same thing. It kind of stops a little bit there, but I know that Nike symbol hits right in between there. So I'm actually gonna bring that little curve and then go all the way down, try to follow the slope, see if it can kind of guide me in here. And I know when this turns, the Nike symbol also, it's a pretty massive Nike symbol. That Nike symbol almost goes right up to that top and matches up. Curve that around and do, I think I remember doing this on my Kobe, where it kind of takes almost like a J shape, where it kind of goes down and then curls over. Kind of get that curl. I want to make it too sloopy. And then you can kind of connect both of those. Nike symbols are a little bit tricky at first, but after you've had a little bit of practice and you kind of get the kind of straight part and that curved. Okay, I like that. I got one more scoop on the back here, that this connects right up to here. And that almost mimics kind of that same slope here that it would connect over here. And I think I got pretty much everything on here. Oh, the last thing I wanna do is the sole on the bottom. I'm gonna add a little bit of an extra piece on the bottom here, because it's got kind of this translucent sole. And I got an idea for what I'm gonna do for my color for that one. And then that one kind of jets up here. It's just kind of like a slim part. It actually reminds me of the Space Jam with the colorway that I'm looking at here. Icy sole on the bottom with the black upper. The one over here it kind of follows that little point right here. Erase that a little bit to look a little bit more realistic. I think I got a good start. I'm gonna go over this in Sharpie, add a couple little bit more details, and then start thinking about what colors that I'm gonna do. All right, so I got a little bit more details, added some of the shoelaces and uh, little eyelets. I knew that if I hit that one Nike symbol one, I only had four above it and one below it. Added a little bit of the stitching on there and outlined everything with Sharpie. So it looks really good. It's ready for my color, whatever that you want to do. You do whatever you want for your shoe. I'm going to do what I'm going to want. Go through that super fast. see it what is this Bam! fantastic probably one of my favorite videos and pictures that i've done in quite a while um i really really liked how this turned out ahead lots and lots of fun even a little glitter thrown for confetti uh for the championship i found one of these motors i haven't used these liquid metals um in a while but the, the gold metallic color just really accented um and got the look that i was looking for besides just crayons so hopefully you guys enjoyed this hopefully you guys can make your own and make it even better than mine so as always i am mr shooty this is mr shooty's art channel we'll talk to you guys later